Quadra kill for Aurelia. Mop and bucket at the ready. It's pure to no cleanup duty. G2, they oh, steal it away. Oh. They can do it. And G2 take the next step. The fact that they gave Cold the Rex Eye, but he doesn't get to just power bar. All right, there's an early flash from Perks already, but look at the turnaround damage. Mickey's going low, defensive flash! Mickey survives! First blood picked up by Perks! There's no vision on Cold right now. He goes in over the wall, and he gets a flash knockup. So immediately this looks good, but the quick follow-up flash from Perks into a knockup from Mickey is what buys enough time for Perks to obviously reposition and then get all this free damage down onto Cold. He's so commonly lauded for his pathing, his smart play. He's been part of every one of these kills so far. Now, over to the top side, Impact has to run away from this one, but three versus one. Here comes the Zonias. It buys a couple of seconds, and Pjerksen has to sell oh. both to get away. Impact actually outplays the fight. Look at that. 1v3, and he stays alive. Eyes on the top lane, Alfari with almost no mana, Whippo potentially in trouble. Broxa now ready to step forward. Where's the flash gonna be from Alfari? Has to time this one well. Oh, Whippo in no. trouble, the flash forward, but a perfect knockout from Broxa denies it right there. Cold needs to pick his target. Alfari's already dead. Has to get to Whippo. Biding his time, but if he overcommits here, he will just die as well. Whippo gonna dash out to safety. So incredibly low run, but Red picking! Buff. Is it gonna do it? No, regen is just too much! And the mentality is, is that once this uh, top crab goes down, you think there's no reason for Broxa to be here. He doesn't have anything to farm. So again, it's that creative early pathing that the crab is down, Alfari, you're probably fine to be this far forward. Surprise, here's Broxa. OG are gonna answer with the fight. This is the last stitch effort that they have in order to keep this game alive. All right, 20 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Origin looking to engage. I believe that might be the quickest. We're gonna confirm with stats. Look at the re-engage. Cosmic Red to buy some time. Slicing Monstrum does so much damage. Imagine if Origin were not 8,000 gold down. They've got themselves a one for one. Here's the re-engage. Mythi gets chunked out. The knock-up and the dash away from Mickey. Now Wonders are gonna run down the rest of the team. Mythi gets caught. The shield from Wanda. The dive from Caps, and now Cole is the last member standing. As you said, Frost, the damage just wasn't quite there from the side of Origin. So good ultimate from Mithy actually protects a lot of the members. Then a great ulti onto the back line from Alfari, and you think, okay, this is great. But Yanko's buying time with the Morgana against four, uh, and then they dive in, Mithy flashes in. But then this is where Caps and Wonder comes into fruition. He flashes onto the back line, he melts through them, rise surprisingly tanky, always catches people off guard, and then the rest of G2 can come to help support him. GSM are in the area. They've all got him around right here. Broken Blade in the wings. They're going to find that stun and deleted is Van. He can't join this fight anymore. Smoothie, the only one invincible. Oh, Acadia gets double it. There's Lux over the top. Here's the Aurelia as well. Two for one so far. Does Broken Blade get more? Another shutdown in for Lux. TSM slaughter this fight. Oh, look, 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 Good We're job. so bad, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Good shit, guys. Nice, nice. nice. Good job. Drakes don't mean much in combat here for TL as they wait DP's around. Coming from Broken Blade, it is deep. He wants to flank. They get rid of the Banshee's Valentine, and he's running away. There's uh, the push out as Akadian has to ult away. He's been stunned, the reactionary ultimate, but that is several now down. Jensen found out on the side, but Broken Blade can't come through. The flash shaker shot to 1 1. Not just yet the kill, though. Health bar's low. Now it's time for Aurelia. The stopwatch pop, but the backline will stay alive. The Ash auto attacks come in. A stun finds one. Impact stopwatch now as well. The Engage. Who's gonna drop? It's impact. One for zero. Now towards Dublin. Bleeding on the floor. Two for zero. The room will find a third. And TSM win yet another one. No one's saying though, stepping forward, they desperately want to get this inhibitor. It will be a massive advantage. Oh, oh. knockback from Wolf, but they're still going to try to find the fight. The invulnerability is going to come in. How much damage can Nuke Duck get down before the invulnerability fades away? Nuke Duck zoned away by the Lissandra. It's a clean fight so far. Reckless waiting for his opportunity to get the fight, but he does not find it. And OG taking this fight handily. Reckless running for his life, hoping that stealth will save him. Him and Whippo in the same place on the retreat. Alfari now on the chase. The knockup comes out. Whippo desperately trying to buy time as Reckless. They saw him on they the water. The flash. Oh! Nuke Duck now dominating. We said it would come down to these two in the fight. 
fight, but it is Nuke Duck who reigns supreme. And I believe Reckless gets jumped on towards and can't get auto attacks coming down. It's a good stop on the initial engage there on towards Alfari, but hit Reckless, okay, the invulnerability comes down, he flashes away. Where are the auto attacks? They're just not happening. OG are taking no damage from the prime carry source of Fnatic, and that is just a disaster for their team fight. Absolutely the case. We now see the Mountain Drake being taken as well. So the next Baron, no doubt, can be a massive that arena. That too. Oh, Man. <laughs> Cannot make it away to safety. This team is so incredibly mobile. Both bottom lanes are coming up. The Galio can ult as well. We've got Smoothie coming in. Look for the play again. Blocked out. There's no damage out of Bjergsen's paddle star. Lower health. Here comes the cannon. Big damage to the front line. Looking for one. Not just yet. Acadia goes down. One for zero. Team Lift. The broken blade on the back line. Stopwatch buys some space. Impact flashes away. Still does the one kill. Looking for the second. One more Q. Answer back by Broken Blade. No knock up yet. Sven gets away. Two for one. Team Lift. They get two for two overall. A third kill now for TL. A third one comes back for TSM. It's going to just show us up. But only to run away. 2v2 left on the map. They gotta get away from this one. Oh, the He's got the sleep. Oh! Triple for Bjergsen! I'm dead, I'm dead, I think. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, oh my god, god. god. he's nice, nice, man, nice. Nice, pretty good, good job, guys. Hey, hammer here, can hammer here. Nice, nice. love that beer. Yeah, I have a little bit of a beer. Good job, guys. Nice. Oh! oh. What? what? Nice! Oh, oh, sorry. Go, sorry. Let's go. Nice. Jensen's LeBlanc, he is hungry for his first title, but the TP's coming in. This could be TSM's final fight. Broken Blade must carry like he did in game one. Tries to find double if Here comes Galio as well. A knockup only onto the tank, though. Acadia QSS out. Broken Blade at half HP. There's a big top, but double if is safe. He's still surviving. It's two kills. Team Liquid has to believe they've done it. Look at the kills coming through. It's Sven sitting alone inside his Bjergsen's gonna fall, the rest of his team is gone. Team Liquid tie the record. It's three LCS titles in a row. They are the super team. Can TSM fight without Bjergsen? Can TL fight without impact? Sven on the backside, he feels safe. In goes Broken Blade, in goes Acadian. They're gonna try to find that kill. Hemo Plague will kill one. They look for a second and get it. This was Team Liquid's counterattack, and they made a strong shove into mid lane. But as you're saying, Acadian on Rek'Sai. This is his champion. Forces the engage. Broken Blade on Vladimir is able to flank around, flashes in, and they completely route Team Liquid's offensive push.